Yow! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our tutorial about TF2Center.com. Now, one of the questions that we get all the time at uh, X Television is, how do I get involved with the competitive TF2 scene? Uh, really, uh, it's playing games and making friends. Uh, you know, that's how you're going to get involved. The website TeamFortress.tv is helpful for forums and uh, getting some guides, some tips, uh, meeting some, some friends. Uh, UGCLeague.com uh, also has a great forums if you're interested in finding a Highlander team. But really, you just got to get games underneath your belt. Now, uh, TF2Lobby.com was the previous website that was the spot to go to. But uh, TF2Center.com uh, takes some of the features of uh, Lobby and makes them a whole lot better. Now, the first step that you're going to have to do is uh, log in. I'm already logged in. But you'll see the Login with Steam button over here. And uh, it's just like any of the other websites that use the Steam API. So you don't have to sweat about uh, anything uh, bad happening there. Now, uh, then the other thing that you just got to do is you just got to join a game. Uh, you can see that uh, games have different regions as there's uh, EU and North American games going right now. You can see also that you can filter the lobbies. There's different regions that are supported as well. And you can also filter off of the game type Highlander or Sixes. Now, uh, I suggest if you're a very newer player, starting with uh, Highlander, uh, you can play whatever class that you want. And uh, the format is a little bit closer uh, to a public server uh, version of TF2. Uh, six is because of uh, how classes work out in that. Um, there's definitely a little bit more expectations out of the players uh, that you have to be a little bit more knowledgeable about what's going on and uh, that you also are generally not off-classing. Off-classing is generally not uh, the best idea in sixes. Uh, there are certain si situations and scenarios, but you shouldn't go into a sixes game expecting to play pyro all game long. So uh, after saying that, let's hop into a Highlander uh, lobby right here. We'll hit this uh, demo button, and you see this just pops us to another game. Um, people were already saying that this lobby wasn't going to start because of this reserved slot. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to showcase you this. And you can see you can see where everybody is. You can see uh, their uh, reliability. I am 100% reliable. You can see how many actual TF2 Center lobbies they've played. I've played 11 on here. And then how many hours they have in uh, TF2 in general. And uh, once uh, this, once we have full teams on both sides, it'll uh, ask everybody to ready up. You'll just have to click a button stating that you're ready. And then it will uh, give you a prompt to connect to the server directly. If uh, people leave or if there's issues with people, then there is a substitute system. Also, one of the great things about TF2Center.com is that there is an associated mumble. And uh, you can just click this button and it'll uh, let's see if it pops up. No, it doesn't pop up on my recording. But you will be prompted uh, to join the mumble server and uh, it'll kick you into a voice chat room with your other players and with uh, what class each player is playing should be marked to the side of their name. Uh, so that's really cool because it promotes the communication and promotes com uh, players talking to each other. And uh, that's really important in the competitive style of play. You really should have a microphone if you're going to be playing. So you can see I, I jumped down to the spectator section, but if I want to get out of this lobby, I can also just close that tab overall. Now, uh, just noticed this a little bit earlier, but uh, you know, if you don't have a server, and you want to host a lobby, there is uh, some websites that uh, organize free renting of game servers. Pretty cool stuff. You should check them out. Um, definitely very cool stuff. General, though, there is enough lobbies posted up that uh, you, know, you might have to wait for a little bit, but you will be able to find a lobby that you want to play in. Now, just real quick, if you do have a server, you just hit this Create button. Uh, these are the advanced settings on the side. You enter the server address, the Archon password, choose the game type. Highlander or Sixes, uh, choose the map, and then uh, usually you, you would want to say that Mumble is required, but of course you don't have to. And then you can describe your lobby as well. Then uh, this system allows you to say you got two buddies or you want to play, you want to make sure that you play Scout with your buddy. You can, you can reserve a password uh, for uh, these slots and make sure that those slots uh, are used. Um, you can also set uh, minimum requirements of uh, reliability lobbies played and hours played. Like, for example, you want to make sure that any of the medics that play have played at least a thousand hours in TF2. So there you go. It's all really cool, really easy stuff to do. 
and uh, a great way to get competitive TF2 games on with your friends and with strangers. So please give this web shot, uh, website a shot, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.